I would say magnesium would probably be one other one that's low. Great muscle fruit. relaxer. Yep. How about also some of the herbal muscle relaxers too? I mean, like valerian and passion flower, there is some mm -hmm. benefit there. Kind of a dual purpose, right? You could use it for California sleep, but you poppy. could. Yeah, poppy would be good too. You could blend all those as kind of a sleep, but also like a pain remedy. And then I yep. like topical magnesium also. I love the Epsom salt. Epsom but salt bath. I like it more in a float tank though. I mean, Epsom salt bath, you're like what? A couple pounds at most, whereas a float tank, you're getting 800 pounds. So just not even I comparable. still will absorb a ton though. I just do my feet, like just a, yeah. a, a scoop or two, and I still feel a huge difference. But I agree. If you can do the float tank, great. But if not, that's still a good in-between at home. Try it out for sure. If I was like super stiff and I'm like, my God, I can't move. I'm going in a float tank because yep. I, I tell you, I am so flexible in there. Like when I first get in that. So folks listening, this is basically like a large bathtub with 800 pounds of Epsom salt, give or take super filtered water. It's warm. It's your body's temperature. You take a shower. It's usually at a spa setting. You get in there, you float on the surface of the water. You have your own little private float tank or float room usually and you're just floating there and you're there for an hour and your nervous system relaxes they've used it for trauma and ptsd so in terms of mental benefits there's incredible anti-anxiety benefits from it but for physical too also i tell you man when i'm in there i feel i mean i feel like i'm made of jelly i mean i can just yep. move so much better yep one of my yeah, favorite outside things of, yeah i would say that you know from a nutrient standpoint amazing a good myofascial release massage person, a good active release chiropractor, some kind of soft tissue technique. Even if you're doing, um, you know, foam rolling or get one of the hyper vibes, percussor tools at home, just something to improve pliability, add in some of these nutrients that we mentioned, CBD, curcumin, resveratrol, anti-inflammatories. I think also incredibly underrated collagen. I mean, I do my true collagen 20 to 40 grams a day. Um, collagen is a building block for your connective tissue that we don't get a lot of because we're not getting the knuckles and the bones unless you're doing lots of soups with the whole carcass in there. We're not getting these nutrients. And so adding extra collagen is essential for good building blocks for your joints and connective tissue. I would agree. I mean, a forgotten nutrient that we just don't eat totally. in a modern diet. You can't get that at a steakhouse. I mean, you're getting nope, just the lean muscle. It. Unless you're so. getting bone marrow. Unless they cut the long bone and they have all the marrow for you and you eat that. That's the only way you get it. Yeah. Or a good yeah. soup. But most people aren't getting it. So we're getting more muscle meat. So that's a good step out of the gates. I mean, I have my little coffee here. I had 30 grams of collagen this morning. People Sweet. aren't getting it. Sweet. So regarding lots of asking, anecdotes of patients, a lot of anecdotes of patients of getting just, just getting more collagen and changing their diet, huge chronic joint pain, just shifting. Oh yeah. And yeah, the diet's huge. Yeah. So, I mean, labs, I mean, we're going to look at stool. We could look at urine. We could look at blood too, but you know, but this is part of a workup we do. So if you do need help, please reach out. I'm sure we could get to something that hasn't been found. I mean, even the Prevotella infection we look for in the stool, like 75% of cases of rheumatoid arthritis are linked yep. to in certain studies, this Prevotella infection, which is a bacteria we test for. So you've got to look for the microbiome type issues. You've got to look for the deeper stealth infection issues, intracellular parasite type issues. There's a lot of stuff to it, but we just have an approach to it. You know, we kind of peel back the layers here and we get to the root of it. So if you need help, you can reach out. We both work worldwide with people via video and phone calls. So you can reach out to Dr. J. It's Justin at justinhealth.com justinhealth.com or me, Evan Brand at evanbrand.com. And like I said, we work online. So we're very blessed to be able to help people in every nook and cranny of the globe. And it's just a wonderful thing to be able to help people find things that they never found in 20 years of suffering. And we just love to provide that, I don't know, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, I suppose. 100%. And you just mentioned some bacteria issues and different joint issues. We know ankylosing spondylitis, which is an autoimmune issue that affects the lower back. Your Klebsiella is a common bacterial imbalance we'll see affecting the lower back and causing AS. So that's another issue we kind of add to the list. So very yeah. powerful.